In this video, we examine 10 assassinations that changed the course of history. Who was targeted? Who were the assassins and what did they aim for? What were the consequences of the assassinations? Watch our video till the end to find out the answers to these questions. Here are 10 assassinations that shook the world. Number 10. Grigory Rasputin. Russian mystic and advisor to the Romanovs, assassinated in 1916. Grigory Rasputin was a Russian mystic and self-proclaimed holy man who gained considerable influence over the Romanovs, the ruling family of Russia, in the early 20th century. Born in Siberia in 1869, Rasputin became known for his claims of miraculous healing powers and his reputation as a libertine. Rasputin first gained the attention of Tsar Nicholas II and his wife Alexandra when he was able to heal their son, Alexei, who suffered from hemophilia. Despite opposition from many in the royal court, Rasputin was able to gain the trust of the Romanovs and became a close advisor to the family. Rasputin's influence over the Romanovs became a source of controversy and scandal as he was seen as a corrupting influence on the royal family. Many in the Russian nobility and the Orthodox Church viewed him as a dangerous charlatan who was leading the Romanovs astray. In 1916, a group of nobles, including Prince Felix Yusupov, conspired to kill Rasputin. They lured him to Yusupov's palace in St. Petersburg, where they fed him poisoned food and wine. When Rasputin did not die, they shot him several times and threw his body into the Neva River. The assassination of Rasputin did not solve the Romanovs' problems, however, and the dynasty was overthrown in the Russian Revolution the following year. Rasputin's life and death have become the subject of numerous books, films, and other works of art, and his reputation as a mystical figure and a manipulative charlatan continues to fascinate people to this day. Number 9. Leon Trotsky, Marxist revolutionary and founder of the Red Army, assassinated in 1940. Leon Trotsky was a Marxist revolutionary and theorist, born in Yanovka, Ukraine, in 1879. He became a prominent figure in the Russian Revolution of 1917 alongside Vladimir Lenin and played a key role in the establishment of the Soviet Union. Trotsky was a key leader of the Bolshevik faction of the Russian Social Democratic Labor Party and he played a critical role in the October Revolution of 1917 which overthrew the provisional government and established Soviet power in Russia. He was instrumental in the founding of the Red Army which played a critical role in the Russian Civil War that followed. In the years that followed, Trotsky was involved in power struggles with Joseph Stalin, who eventually emerged as the dominant figure in the Soviet Union. Trotsky was expelled from the Communist Party in 1927, and he was exiled from the Soviet Union in 1929. Trotsky spent the remainder of his life in exile, first in Turkey, and later in Mexico. In 1940, he was assassinated by a Stalinist agent who struck him on the head with an ice axe. Trotsky was a prolific writer, and his works on Marxist theory, revolutionary strategy, and the Soviet Union remain influential to this day. He was a controversial figure during his lifetime, and his legacy continues to be debated by scholars and activists on the political left. Number 8. Anwar Sadat, President of Egypt, assassinated in 1981. Anwar Sadat was the third president of Egypt, serving from 1970 until his assassination in 1981. Born in 1918 in the Nile Delta province of MIT Gamr, Sadat was a career military officer who rose to prominence during the presidency of Gamal Abdel Nasser. Following Nasser's death in 1970, Sadat succeeded him as president. He is best known for his efforts to improve relations with Israel and for signing the Camp David Accords with Israeli Prime Minister Munich and Begin in 1978, for which he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Sadat's decision to pursue peace with Israel was controversial in the Arab world, and he faced criticism and opposition from many of his fellow Arab leaders. He also faced domestic opposition from Islamist groups who accused him of betraying the Palestinian cause and of being too friendly with the United States. On October 6, 1981, during a military parade in Cairo commemorating Egypt's victory in the 1973 Yom Kippur War, Sadat was assassinated by a group of Islamist militants who had infiltrated the army. The attack, which also killed 11 others and wounded dozens more, was carried out by members of the Islamic Jihad group. Number 7. Indira Gandhi, Prime Minister of India, assassinated in 1984. 
Indira Gandhi was the first female Prime Minister of India, serving two separate terms from 1966 to 1977 and from 1980 until her assassination in 1984. She was the daughter of Jawaharlal Nehru, India's first Prime Minister. Gandhi was a controversial figure who was known for her authoritarian leadership style and her role in declaring a state of emergency in India in 1975, during which she suspended many civil liberties and jailed political opponents. During her second term as Prime Minister, Gandhi faced several challenges, including a separatist insurgency in the state of Punjab and growing tensions with the Sikh community. On October 31, 1984, she was assassinated by two of her Sikh bodyguards in retaliation for her ordering the Indian Army to storm the Golden Temple, the holiest Sikh shrine, earlier that year to flush out militants. Gandhi's assassination led to widespread violence against Sikhs in India, with thousands of Sikhs being killed in riots that followed. The assassination and the subsequent violence remain controversial and have been the subject of numerous investigations and inquiries. Despite her controversial legacy, Gandhi is widely regarded as one of the most important and influential leaders in Indian history. Her policies and leadership style helped shape modern India and her commitment to social justice and economic development continue to inspire people around the world. Number 6. Martin Luther King Jr. American civil rights leader, assassinated in 1968. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American Baptist minister and civil rights activist who played a key role in the American civil rights movement from the mid-1950s until his assassination in 1968. He is best known for his role in advancing civil rights through nonviolent means, including civil disobedience and peaceful protest. King was born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1929 and became involved in the civil rights movement in the 1950s, leading the Montgomery Bus Boycott in 1955 and helping to found the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, SCLC, in 1957. He was a key figure in the struggle against racial segregation and discrimination in the United States, advocating for voting rights, desegregation, and other reforms. King's advocacy and activism made him a target of violence and harassment, and he was arrested numerous times for his activism. On April 4, 1968, King was assassinated by James Earl Ray while standing on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee, where he had been staying to support striking sanitation workers. King's death sparked outrage and mourning throughout the United States and around the world, and his legacy as a civil rights leader and advocate for justice continues to inspire people today. In 1983, Congress designated the third Monday in January as Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a federal holiday honoring King's life and work. Number 5. John F. Kennedy, 35th President of the United States, assassinated in 1963. John F. Kennedy was the 35th President of the United States, serving from January 1961 until his assassination in November 1963. He was born in Brookline, Massachusetts in 1917 and served in both the House of Representatives and the Senate before being elected president in 1960. Kennedy is known for his charismatic personality, his advocacy for civil rights, and his leadership during the Cold War. He was the youngest person ever elected to the presidency at the age of 43 and was the first Roman Catholic president in American history. On November 22, 1963, Kennedy was assassinated while riding in an open car during a motorcade in Dallas, Texas. Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested and charged with a murder, but was himself assassinated two days later while in police custody. The assassination of Kennedy remains one of the most controversial and widely debated events in American history, with many conspiracy theories surrounding the circumstances of his death. Despite this controversy, Kennedy's legacy as a charismatic and visionary leader who championed civil rights and inspired a generation of Americans continues to endure. Number 4. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, assassinated in 1914, triggering World War I. Archduke Franz Ferdinand was the heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and his assassination on June 28, 1914, in Sarajevo, Bosnia, is widely regarded as the event that triggered World War I. Franz Ferdinand was born in 1863 and was the eldest son of Archduke Karl Ludwig of Austria. He became the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne in 1896 after the suicide of his cousin, Archduke Rudolf. 
On June 28, 1914, while on a visit to Sarajevo, Franz Ferdinand and his wife were assassinated by Gavrilo Princip, a member of a Serbian nationalist group known as the Black Hand. The assassination was part of a larger plan by Serbian nationalists to unite all Serbian-speaking territories in the Balkans under one state, and it was seen as a direct challenge to Austro-Hungarian authority. In the aftermath of the assassination, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia, setting off a chain of events that led to the outbreak of World War I. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand is often seen as the spark that set off the war, although historians debate the extent to which it was a direct cause. Despite his relatively short life, Franz Ferdinand had a significant impact on the politics and culture of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and his death marked the end of an era in European history. Number 3. Mahatma Gandhi, Indian nationalist and leader, assassinated in 1948. Mahatma Gandhi was an Indian nationalist and leader who played a key role in India's struggle for independence from British rule. He was born in 1869 in Porbandar, India and became a lawyer before becoming involved in the Indian National Congress, a political organization that sought to achieve greater self-rule for India. Gandhi is best known for his philosophy of non-violent resistance, which he called Satyagraha. He led a number of non-violent campaigns and protests against British rule, including the Salt March in 1930 and the Quit India Movement in 1942. On January 30, 1948, Gandhi was assassinated by Nathuram Gadza, a Hindu nationalist who opposed Gandhi's efforts to promote religious tolerance and unity between Hindus and Muslims. Gadza and several other conspirators were later tried and executed for their roles in Gandhi's assassination. Gandhi's legacy as a leader and advocate for Indian independence and civil rights continues to inspire people around the world. He is widely regarded as one of the most important figures in Indian history, and his philosophy of nonviolent resistance has influenced social movements and political leaders around the world. Number 2. Abraham Lincoln 16th President of the United States, assassinated in 1865. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th President of the United States, serving from 1861 until his assassination in 1865. He was born in 1809 in Hodgenville, Kentucky, and grew up in a log cabin. Lincoln is widely regarded as one of America's greatest presidents, and his leadership during the Civil War played a crucial role in preserving the Union and ending slavery. Lincoln was a self-educated lawyer who served in the Illinois legislature and the U.S. House of Representatives before being elected president in 1860. He was the first Republican Party candidate to win the presidency. During his presidency, Lincoln faced the greatest crisis in American history, the Civil War. He worked tirelessly to preserve the Union, and his Emancipation Proclamation of 1863 declared that all slaves in the Confederate States shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. The Civil War ended in 1865 with the Union victorious, but Lincoln did not live to see the full impact of his leadership. On April 14, 1865, just days after the end of the war, Lincoln was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth while attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Lincoln's assassination shocked the nation and had a profound impact on American history. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest American presidents, and his leadership during the Civil War and his commitment to ending slavery continue to inspire people around the world. Number 1. Julius Caesar, Roman dictator and general, assassinated in 44 BC. Julius Caesar was a Roman statesman, general, and dictator who played a critical role in the events that led to the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire. He was born in 100 BC in Rome and rose to prominence as a military commander, winning a number of important victories in Gaul and other regions. In 44 BC, Caesar was appointed dictator for life, which sparked fears among some members of the Roman Senate that he was becoming too powerful. A group of senators conspired to assassinate him, and on March 15th of that year, they stabbed him to death in the Senate chamber. Caesar's assassination marked a turning point in Roman history. The power struggle that followed his death led to the eventual rise of Caesar's grandnephew and adopted son, Octavian, who became the first Roman emperor and took the name Augustus. Caesar's military and political reforms, including the establishment of the Julian calendar, had a lasting impact on Roman society and culture. Caesar's life and death have been the subject of numerous books, plays, and films, and his legacy as one of history's most influential figures has endured for over two millennia.